Dude, he looks sick. <laughs> what? Do you see what I'm doing here, guys? <laughs> it's a good boy. It's a really good boy. Who's a good boy? What's up, guys? In this video, we're gonna be doing something fun. We're gonna turn random household objects into characters. So I came across this TikTok video right here, which explains this challenge really well. Pick an object, turn the opacity down, and find its core shape. Multiply the shape and explore different versions of that shape. Look at that. I love it. And there's that final result all because of that simple shape at the beginning. And I think this is a really good challenge if you wanna just take some time to learn about shapes and how important they are to the core of a character's design. So now that you guys know what's up, I'm gonna get some pictures of some random objects around the house and we're gonna just play around with the shapes. This should be fun. All right, so I've got my first image. We're gonna start off with something real simple, just to, you know, get the hang of this. First shape is kind of a rounded edge rectangle. Now, tracing that over. Okay, so that is gonna be our core shape. We've got the core shape right there, looking good. I wanna do maybe a couple more shapes, okay? So let's put in a, another image. Look at that, there's my lock, hardened, just like me. <laughs> Pause. Delete the original, that is an interesting looking shape. I mean, you can almost already see a face emerging from this. It's very, very interesting. Okay, let's do another shape. Let's do a more complex shape. So this is gonna be a little bit more complex. There's gonna be a little bit more going on. You can see some straights and some curves, and it's got this thin part in the middle, which I don't know, kind of evokes the appearance of a woman. But most of my audience probably don't know what a woman looks like because y'all don't go outside. Y'all don't touch grass, y'all don't see the sun. Okay, and now I'm gonna take this shape, shrink it down a bit, that, that's pretty interesting. Okay, let's do one more, one more. PS5 controller, there we go. Just to flex on the babies. Delete the original, now move this down. All right, see so guys, here are some shapes that we can work with. Now for this fun little challenge slash exercise that we're gonna do, we're gonna focus on two things. Number one, we could do some portraits. Number two, we could do some full body character designs. We'll just kind of go with what we're feeling. Let's see here for the first one. Hmm, I'm just gonna sketch the shape down. Maybe let's go for a character portrait. So that means this is gonna be very squared off. It's gonna be a very angular looking character. It's gonna look like that old guy from Up. We have a couple things that we could do here. We could give him a goofy hairstyle. This kind of looks like a certain dictator in a certain part of the world. And the point of this exercise is not to restrict yourself to only the shape that you're given, but to work off of it. We're gonna build a character off of that foundational shape. What does he look like right now? He kind of gives me like school bully vibes. All right, he's gonna be like the mean kid at school. He's gonna have no eyebrows. Cause if you're mean to your peers, you don't deserve eyebrows. Okay, we're gonna make him real angry. Oh wow, that's good. Okay. <laughs> now see what I'm doing here is I'm kind of going outside of the shape, but following the general idea of it. Ooh, turn the original off, look at that. Boy, he looks like a very unlikable character. We're gonna flip our canvas horizontal and you know, that doesn't look so bad. That actually doesn't look so bad. We're gonna color this guy. We're gonna just keep this real simple. Now his vibe is school bully. Okay, that's what I'm going for here. So he's got that kind of military cut. <laughs> he looks so annoying. Oh man, I'm really liking this. He looks like he's about to steal my lunch money. He's gonna be wearing a little tank top. I hate him so much. All right, there we go. That's our first character we're off to a real strong start here we, we're st oh my god <laughs> i was really liking that you see this is a lot of fun because it gets you out of your comfort zone right oftentimes you start your character by drawing a circle for the cranium but now what this exercise does is it's kind of forcing you out of that you're starting to think more in terms of the big shape the big foundational shape that makes your character look iconic now let's try 
another shape. And these come out really fast too, so I'm enjoying that. Okay, let's do this one. Let's try this shape here. Now, this shape here immediately screams dress to me. So we can do a female character, but what I wanna do is maybe accentuate this and this even more. So there's, there's a bit more contrast there. How do we do this? Now, I wanna make this part probably bigger. Maybe we can do a voluptuous woman. All right, guys, one thing that I think is really interesting here is you see this almost rectangular shape up here. That's from the cap of my nut container. But it almost reminds me of like, you know those medieval things that people wear around their necks? That's like a big, a big piece of paper. Let's make it into that. That reminds me of it. This is perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn the original layer off. We have a nice sketch here. And now it's time to flesh out our character. Give it some detail. So immediately right off the bat, I'm thinking snobby voluptuous woman because she's got that royal medieval kind of dress. Okay, so that's good. Let's give her some color now. Uh, I. What should we do for colors? Maybe we can use some of the colors that were present in the original photograph. So let's go for the red. Red represents the color of my nut. Not my nut. Uh, red represents the color of my nut container, the lid. Look how snobby. Oh, oh my goodness, look at that. Is this fun or what? All right, and last but not least, we're gonna give her a little bit of a drop shadow here. Flip it back around horizontally. Look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> this is a snobby medieval lady created from my nut container. That's fantastic. Okay, now let's go back to a portrait drawing. Let's give this lock shape a shot. Okay, let's see what we can make from this. I can practically already see the head shape of the character here. So this one should be pretty simple, but we have to decide what character do we want to make? What's this character's story? And why do they look this way? I don't know. This shape kind of reminds me of like a like a worker, like a tired worker. Maybe he works at a bank and he's tired. Let's see here, let's give him some little ears. So here's gonna be the tip of the character's head. And I'm thinking the face could be somewhere up here and this whole bottom section could just be the, the chin, the baggage. <laughs> yeah, that's good, okay. Uh, and a mouth that just screams, I do not care. <laughs> oh yeah, well, ooh, look at that, there we go. Okay, that's good. All right, look at that, fan. Fantastic. Let's go in with our liquify tool. Actually, before we do that, we're gonna flip our canvas to make sure that things look right. We're gonna make him look dead on the outside and on the inside, just like me. Graying hair, but it's not all gray. He's he's still hanging on to some some semblance of life. Let's get some detail in here for the eyes. Now, you know what makes a person look absolutely dead? Dark eye bags. Oh my God, poor guy. I, I'm starting to feel bad for him. Okay, and he's gonna be wearing a suit, but his tie is gonna be kind of messed up. So he just doesn't care. There's our bank guy who's tired of life. Let's take this lock shape once again, and this time we're gonna make it a likable character. Do you see what I'm doing here, guys? <laughs> it's a good boy. He's a really good boy. Who's a good boy? I'm gonna turn the original layer off and flip this around. And now we can do some liquify. Look, this guy, he doesn't have to have a backstory. He's just happy to be here. He's got a fluffy little tail back there. And let's give him some color now. All right, look at that. Wonderful. Let's give him some pink in the mouth. This brings me so much joy. Finally, a likable character. All right, looking good. Look at that absolute chunker. I love it. I love it. That's great. Now we haven't touched the controller yet because this is probably the most challenging shape for us to integrate into a character design, but let's give it a shot. Let's see what we can make here. Okay. Now I'm going to turn off the original and we're going to go with this sketch here. But what I want to do is I want to make this related to the PlayStation controller. I mean, like in terms of its design language, so we can have a Maybe like a samurai or something. All right, so I'm taking a bit longer with the design of this character, but I'm, I'm having a lot of fun here. Look at the uh, stance. Look at the silhouette of this character. Big old massive robot samurai. Maybe he's a security guard. All right, guys, he's looking kind of sick. He's looking kind of sick. Should we give him a little antenna? <laughs> okay, maybe not. We will, however, give him a burb. He's a good guy. He's got a burp. And now we're gonna come in with some color. So he's by far the most intricate drawing that we've done in this video. So I think we can go into a bit more detail with this and take in all of this, this entire concept 
just stemmed from that one simple shape. The one thing that's often overlooked when it comes to designing characters is this core shape that your character is built off of. And that's why sometimes you see a character design and it's like, it's really cool, but it's not necessarily memorable because there's no focus. So here we go. I'm going with a mostly white color scheme because the PlayStation controller is white. It's comprised of white and black and also some lighting, which is going to be fun to do. All right, he's looking pretty cool. So let's uh, start a multiply layer. Let's add in some shadow, some mysterious shadow under this big hat. Story time. When I was a young child, I always loved drawing robots. I drew a lot of robots in my young child sketchbook that I had back in the day. I'm a big fan of drawing robots. I just like the way they look. That's it. That's the end of my story time. Very underwhelming, I know. Just like my life. Dude, he looks sick. <laughs> what? My goodness, I'm loving how this guy's turning out. I'm gonna give him some blue lighting here that kind of looks like what you would see on the uh, PlayStation controller when you're using it. And last but not least, let's add a hard light layer and let's make these guys glow. This is wild. I mean, I normally don't draw stuff like this. This is Sam Does Robots. All right, and there we go. There's our character based on not only the shape but also the aesthetics of the PlayStation controller. That's sick. This is actually a lot of fun, guys. So if you haven't tried this out yet, go ahead and give it a shot. I mean, just look at these guys. Aren't they so much fun? All of these beauties started from these. It's amazing. So I wanted to bring this to you guys so that you can try this out for yourself. If you're feeling some type of art block, you're like, man, I don't know what to draw. I don't know what to do next. Nothing I draw turns out right. Give this a shot. Let your creative juices flow and just come up with cool stuff like this <laughs> i'm so happy with it i feel like a kid again all right well thanks for watching this video if you like what we've drawn here subscribe to the channel so that i do more stuff like this and uh yeah and that's that that's about it go and get out of here <laughs> not bad that's not bad at all i didn't come into this with high expectations boy these turned out nice maybe i should start believing in myself a bit more. It's garbage can, not garbage can't.